G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Yesterday we did a system building video for a very dear friend of mine and there's been a bit of conjecture on that video which I will do a video reply to later today regarding it. But this video, we're gonna talk about the laptop that I am also giving uh, the family as well. It's one of my um, Asus laptops. But I'm gonna talk about how old mate goes about refurbing a laptop and my personal opinion is i don't tend to touch a laptop's processor or anything like that okay mainly because what you've got to remember with a laptop is everything's on both sides of the board okay so whilst with a pc and a server we can change the proc we can upgrade a whole lot of stuff it's a bit hard to do that with a laptop okay so Look, I've had people say to me, why don't I like working on laptops? The simple fact is I actually hate working on laptops. But there is a couple of things that I do if I'm going to refurb or donate a laptop to someone. One of the first things I do is obviously upgrade the hard drive, which we will be doing with this laptop, but also the RAM. Now, some laptops, depending on the manufacturer, will come with either a single sodium or dual sodium, or in the cases we've seen with my travel made 5620 two sets of different dims so dims laptop that i'm giving lido 84 is one of my uh, asus laptops now this was a heavy lift laptop for me at the time what we're going to do is upgrade the ram hopefully it's uh well ideally it's, it should have at least four gig of ram in it i hope but also we're going to change out the hard drive when you're upgrading or refurbishing a laptop there's very little you can actually do to it from an upgrade path point of view. Now the BIOS on the laptop is as far as it's gonna get. That's as far as it will go with the BIOS. Um, I'm, I think it's already got the last BIOS available on it, but I'll check it beforehand. The other thing I do with a laptop, apart from obviously changing out the hard drive and the RAM, is to make sure the Wi-Fi card in it, A is, well, at least accessible, and B is capable of running at both 2.4 and 5 gig ranges. Okay, now the reason for that is, is if it can connect to a 5 gig Wi-Fi, obviously you're gonna take the 5 gig Wi-Fi, okay? But you also wanna make sure that the, depending on the encapsulation and leveling of encryption you're running on your Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi card can actually see it, okay? So whether that's, you know, just simple ASCII, whether it's WPS, or you've gone the whole hog and gone all the way up to WPA2 Enterprise TKIP AES, you know, high level, you know, multi-character uh, Wi-Fi pass keys. But you also wanna make sure that if your SSID is hidden, the Wi-Fi card can actually see it. Now we're gonna test all this out with this Asus laptop coming up today. So whilst a laptop can be a little bit more finicky in a refurb, but in some cases it can be dead set in the fed income department, dead easy as well. So let's get stuck into this laptop and I'll show you what I do to refurb a laptop and a few other bits and pieces. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the laptop I'm giving them. It's an Asus F3J. All right, mobile phone's finally focused, all right. Now, like I said, I don't like working on laptops per se, but there are a couple of things I can do with this one to make it work properly for them, all right? Now, this one has an, a card reader in it, so basically everything they're gonna need for their mobile phones and digital cameras and everything. So one of the first things I do when I refurb a laptop is take out the existing hard drive. This is my hard drive. Now, I used to use this laptop as well, so this one's got a Hitachi, I actually don't know how big this drive is. I think it's a 250, yeah, 250 gig hard drive. So 
The hard drive gets kept, but obviously the mounting bracket I will put onto this Toshiba 750 gig. All right, so that's the first thing I do. The second thing I've got to do, as my mobile phone vibrates, is check the RAM. Now, one thing I hate with a passion with laptops, and this is why I don't work on a lot of them. Um, I've got people now screaming at me saying, oh, laptops are so easy to work on. They're, you can upgrade them to your heart's content. Well, that's not exactly true. Um, one of the biggest problems you have with laptops, unlike desktops, and a lot of people won't, may or may not agree with me on this to a point, is, you know, it's not like you can swap out the graphics card. I'm going to have to put the phone down while I undo these. Hang on. All right, so here's the back of it. Now, I think this... I think this is the one that's actually got more guts in it than my other one of these. I've got two of these Azuses. I think I'm giving Lido 84 the better of the two, which is what I always do. If I have two of the same laptops lying around, I always give out the better of the two. All right. So how much RAM have we got in this thing? Four gig. Okay. So this one's got four gig of RAM in it already, I hope. I better just confirm that, hadn't I? Because I don't want to give him one that's only got bloody three gig. That's just stupid. What have we got there? Two gig, okay. So it's got four gig of RAM in it. So this is the better of the two laptops, which is good. Okay. So we have four gig of RAM. Um, Wi-Fi card I know will work on 2.4 and 5. I already know that, so that's all right. Plus, it will connect to hidden SSIDs as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next thing I've got to do, obviously, is the hard drive swap out. Okay, so... Actually, no, what I should actually do before I do the hard drive swap out is power this up. And... Mm, yeah, actually, on second thoughts... Before we continue, I'm actually going to power this up uh, and make sure I can get everything off this drive because I can't actually remember what's on this drive. And if there's programs on here, I need to get them off. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. The other thing too, just as a quick, um, a little bit more of advice, Make sure you take the battery out when you're working on these things too because you've only got to touch something in here that could be directed at the battery and you could, you know, fry the hell out of the whole whole board. So, um, yeah, this one also, just while I think about it, DVD RAM drive on this one and also DVI and VGA as well. So I'm giving him the better of the two laptops as I said, I've got two of these, and I know some people will say, no, well, I'm not going to give you the better of the two. I work on the opposite assumption. If I have two of the same laptops that I'm going to give a friend or donate, I always donate the better of the two, okay, because that's just me. I, I would rather donate, you know, hang on to the slightly less specced one for myself and donate the better one to someone else rather than, you know, uh, anything else? All right, so what I'll do is go and find the power board for this. I'll power it up. I'm obviously not going to video powering it up because I don't want you seeing what's on that other hard drive, and I'll check it all out, and then we'll come back. Okay, powered it up. Works like a treat. Actually works really, really well. Um, there's a lot of stuff on this hard drive I'm going to have to get off, um, which is fine. So... This is now ready for refurb. Um, the Wi-Fi does work. It saw my network, which is good. So what I'll do now is transpose the two hard drives and then uh, bung MX into it. All right, so old hard drive taken out, new 750 gig drive installed. And you can see there that I've done the four screws. So it's anchored correctly. Now, if you're familiar with these Azusas, you'll know they can be a nightmare to 
deal with in some cases. So it drives in place. All right. I've just got to find the screws for that. I've got them where I'll just pick this up from. So I can get the screws out. Or are the screws in there still? Oh, no, the screws are still in there. Oh, okay. I haven't lost them. So I'll screw that back down. Put the cover back on. And we will install MX Linux onto this one. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the hard drive bay put back on. Now, before I forget, I forgot to tell you this. This is actually an F3JP. Uh, I have two of these, okay? Um, this one's actually the higher spec one because it's got the DVI. The other one of these that I've got only has S-Video, which is not exactly ideal. Okay, so next thing to do, go over here. There's my other one down there. This one also has better audio too, which is why I'm giving it away. Oh, I hate working on laptops. I really, really hate it. It's a pain. I know you're probably sitting there saying, backyard laptops are like easy to work on, mate. Oh, no, they're not. Look at the freaking screws. With my damn fat fingers, <laughs> they are a pain to work on, believe you me. Oh, so many freaking screws. All right. So... And I mean, this is all you can really do with a laptop. It's not like you can, and this is why I hate working on them, because you can't, oh, for crying out loud. Um, you can't actually do a lot with them other than, you know, change RAM, change hard drive, um, which is not, you know, you want to be able to do a proper refurb job, but sometimes laptops just don't allow it. They really do not allow for, you know, a lot of upgrades the only one of the only ways to really upgrade a laptop is to you know keep the case and then find a different um different motherboard i guess is probably one of the only ones oh this is ridiculous okay i'm gonna have to put the camera down while i do this guys hang on okay so the back's on it just for those that are curious there it is there it's a f3j p model and as i said i've got two of these so all right, so the next thing to do now is flip it up, go grab my MX USB. Now, guys, before you yell and scream at me, this does not have a UFI enabled BIOS, so it will be doing a legacy BIOS install. By the way, I have checked the BIOS. This is running the latest BIOS available. All right, let me go and get my MX USB and we will continue. All right, so we've got the USB plugged in. Power it up. F12 for the boot boot thing. Wakey, wakey. What did I do wrong? Hang on. Okay. Righto. Massive rookie mistake on my behalf. You absolute idiot, old mate. Here's a good idea. Um, if you're going to boot from USB... <laughs> Make sure it's the first boot priority. It tends to be a good idea, if you get my drift. Talk about idiotic. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to just test this with the Semba snapshot for this one. And just to make sure it doesn't does install and picks up Wi-Fi and all that type of stuff. Uh... So remember, this is USB 3 to USB 2. What a rookie mistake. Duh, old mate's a dummy. <laughs> yeah, well done, you half-wit, old mate. Talk about a rookie bloody mistake. Because the hard drive on here is formatted NTFS. Right. Um, and it was trying to boot from the hard drive. Duh. <laughs> Change boot priority, you numbnut. Hmm. Oh, no, here it comes. It's all right. It is USB 3 to USB 2. And the worst thing is I actually transferred this at USB 
three speed. I should have actually done it at USB two speed, but anyway, probably would have made a, made a lot of difference. But anyway, all right. If this actually gets up and running, uh, we'll come back. All right, a couple of minutes later, and it's uh, it's working. It's installing. It's a little bit slow, but you know, as I said, this again, they're not heavy users. They just need a laptop so they can take it away and copy their photos and upload them from the laptop so there we go anyway uh once this is booted uh we will come back all right a few minutes later and uh we'll just do a couple of quick checks you can see my wi-fi which is good i'm obviously not going to put it on there we're just doing this for a test purpose only install grub that's not bad six minutes to install so far or sorry eight minutes to install so far so i'm not too worried eight minutes that's fine um yeah you know, i love people who sit there and say you know i'm not prepared to wait eight minutes i've just installed mx december so mx 18 december in eight minutes nine minutes now that's fine you know that that that's Yesterday it took a total of seven minutes to install. Today it's taken nine. It'll probably take ten minutes to install just the core system. So, look, that's perfectly fine on this thing. I'm not too worried about it um, as is. So there we go. All right. So once this is all installed, we'll then do a reboot test and see how long it takes to actually boot into MX from power on to uh the ability to use the os okay so all up on this old thing we're now installed which is good the mouse is a little bit feeling i have to change the sensitivity of the mouse but just for the purposes of this we're going to shut it down and then do a full power on restart And again, you know, 10 minutes to install on this this thing, I'm not too worried. Um, if it was more than about 12 or 13 minutes, then I'd be concerned. Okay. So USB key removed. As I said, this is this is the December one. So obviously I've got the the I think it's the January one already downloaded. But for the purposes of this, I just want to make sure. The speakers in this are really good as well. There we are. Look, a Zeus. I'm an Acer man personally, but Azusa are all right. All right, let's see how we go here. That's pretty quick. All right, let's see how long this takes. Remember, they're not exactly looking for speed and performance, just stability and reliability. I may need to do a bit of tweaking to it. <laughs> Although it is the first boot into the system, so it might take a little bit. Less than a minute. That's not bad. That's doable. Less than a minute to get to here. Okay, let me just do the password. Yeah, I need to do a little bit of tweaking, I think. But it was pretty quick to boot to Grub, and it was pretty quick to get to the login screen. Hey, look, that's all right. That's doable. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm not overly complaining i doubt lido 84 will complain about the performance either it should be all right for him to uh to do um as the mouse is working conky's happy well i don't think he really wants conky have we got network we do have network capability so there we go laptop refurb done the mouse is a little bit finicky at the moment. I need to change the mouse sensitivity, but I can do that. So there we are. An Asus F3JP with MX Linux on it. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's, that's doable. It's doable and usable.
there we go. Old mate's refurbed a laptop. Stick around, plenty more coming up throughout the day here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.